Greetings. I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. I think today we should go to the carnival. I think we deserve it. To Jonathan Land. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no one deserves this. Well, look, golly. Look who hasn't healed himself at all. <laughs> well, in addition to healing myself, I just deposited um, 8,000 gold into my bank attack. And my bank account. <laughs> 8,000 gold into my bank account. And that put me over the threshold to get um, into that secret secret bank organization thingy. So that'll be cool. I've never been in there before. I've never had that much money. I don't quite know how I got so much money this playthrough, considering in my original playthrough I had an item that like doubled your money, but you know, things happen. Uh, Jimmy is scared. Probably because weird ghosties just popped up. I get it. Gonna undulate on you. Ha! Lars can take it. Alright, good. Jimmy's no longer scared, so I can check these guys. Nothing? I'm kind of offended that you have nothing. There's a new area. You gotta give me furniture items. It's what I crave. Pew! <laughs> so he's a ghosty, and I think he is strong against all physical attacks, but oh my. That experience. Holy wowie zowie. This might be the best experience place in the game so far. Well, I'm glad I didn't come here first then. <laughs> so this battle had the exact same enemies, it's just different things popped out. Oh, countered. Bam, so let's check. Let's check you for fancy gifts. Nothing. What are these even? Jeff in a bag. Is it? <laughs> I guess these are knockoff Jack in a boxes. It's the only thing I can think of. I actually tried analysis because I thought I could be sneaky. But then Lars just canceled and then like zero damage to him. <laughs> so, whatever. Waste of energy. I figure, since I want to go through these a little bit faster... E. Lars is actually <laughs> looking a little bit shaky there. Since I want to go through this a little bit faster, I might end up uh, putting the observation bubble on, but I do want to wait until, um, you know, I see if there's any more unique monsters with delicious things for me to steal. You know, really tasty items like couches and fountains and... <laughs> I don't know, beanie babies with googly eyes on them. Ooh, you're different. Gimme. Nah. So we got the Jeff in the bags and we got the Night Guardian. I think I want to uh, punch my way out of a wet paper bag here. Except it looks like it's made out of some type of burlap. But I'm gonna punch it. Let's, um. Rampage. Let's see how that works against the bag, because I know they have, like, increased defense. I just wonder if it's possible to defeat these guys while they're still in the bag. We're going to go all out. Uh, I guess all out for you is just punching once. That's fine. Oh, wow. That This might do it? Nope. Wait. And Lars coming through. So we'll never even know what was inside of there. <laughs> Which I am completely fine with. You're weak against magic. Let's do it. E. Glad they didn't all attack Andrew. Okay. I think we can just uh, finish him now. Night Guardian's chuckling to himself and he's watching me. So certainly hope we take them out now. If we don't, something bad is very likely to happen. Oh dear. All right. Let's see what happens. Smoky. Ah, didn't do anything. <laughs> that was one of the least threatening uh, charge-up weird attacks that I've seen. Though if there was a lot of them, that could have been a problem. They could have stopped us from killing them for a long time, and then they could have countered and it would have been bad. Just walking down the land of infinite stalls here. That was weird in that last battle, Jimmy was faster than Helga. I'm gonna have to confirm that. 
Let's see. Status. Agility 86. Huh. He is slightly faster than his mother. That, uh, I don't think that happened in my original playthrough. It's not items, is it? No, I have nothing that speeds me up. He is just faster than her. Wow. That's amazing. Um, it's observation bubble time. <laughs> ah, no, one more. The experience is amazing after all. This is, appears to be a dead end, however. Okay, I'm glad I stayed. Let's do a shakedown. Now, you get a lot of money from this, if I remember. So, if I guess the right one, and if I miss, I'll have her do it. Alright. We are not amused. They both, they both failed. They both failed me. Now I think it's just gonna leave. But we'll see. Ah, oh, looks nervous. Yeah. Too bad. So you have a much less, uh... Oh, God. Uh-huh. You have a must, much less of a chance of getting that successful, because it's a one in six chance that you'll get it right. Um, but if you do... Oh, here we go again. Glad I didn't put up that bubble. We're just both gonna try to steal the first bone. Yes, I know you're not amused, but give me your bone. Oh, God. Huh. It actually attacked, and... Alright, so that wasn't the right bone. Uh, now we need this bone, but I, I think you only get one chance. Um, yeah. How about you just defend? <laughs> just in case we get more super glare eyes. Nope, they're gone. Oh, well. I think it's like 10,000 gold or something. Which, at this point, I don't even need, but... In other times, it would have been amazing. It's like I don't want to put on the observation bubble just in case I get that. Nope, you're, uh... You're not what I want. Alright, we're doing it. Time to observe... I'm just gonna stroll on through. Oh. Cool. It's a guillotine! <laughs> now that's the type of furniture I like. Thank you. Now we're talking. I don't know why one of these lovely monsters wasn't giving me a nice fine guillotine to put in my clubhouse like all kids have in their clubhouse. Ooh, ugh. I mean... I don't even have a clubhouse, but if I did... Probably have a lot of action figures in it that would get ruined by weather. So that was the beginning. I walked all the way back to the beginning. All of that was just to get a freaking guillotine, I guess. So many fountains that are filled with sludge. Blar. I prefer my fountains to be filled with water personally, but... That's just me. Some people are sludge guys, I get it. Some people are gunk gals. I understand. I just like water. Jimmy sees a writhing mass of black clouds and glinting fangs in the mirror. Now it's gonna repeat that all every time, but... Something emerges from the mirror. Whoa, now. Okay. Um... <laughs> I guess, uh, maybe I shouldn't have looked at it as a vampire. I don't know. Apparently this is this type of thing is not allowed. Alright, what's in the bag? A scissor face. Wow, it scared everyone except for Helga and then stunned Helga. You know what, buddy? And he just startled Jimmy, who was going to kill him in one hit. Which is the only reason I had everyone else attack, like he was dead. But you're not going to be able to do that again, because Jimmy's alert, so... Here comes the rush. Now, Jimmy's only faster than his mother as Punch Tanaka, I say. So that's interesting. I didn't realize that Punch gave a speed boost. Either that or the vampire gives a speed decrease. 
Let me check you, Punch. Um, Punch does give a 110 speed increase. He, he's got everything except for, um... Yeah, he's really good. <laughs> he's a good guy to be. I don't think I want to look at any of those as a vampire anymore. Except for that one. Oh my god, it had... Look at that. That was awesome. I'm assuming all the other ones are, uh, yeah, all the other ones are bad. Helga leveled up, we got another vampire level, because vampire is severely underleveled. Once upon a time, there was a bear. He was a fuzzy, huggable little thing, filled with soft cotton stuffing. He looked just like the world-famous Jonathan Bear. He lived in a shelf in a department store, surrounded by other bears that looked just like him. Every day, children would look at the shelves and take his friends, but they never picked him. More bears were added every week, and he was pushed to the back, nestled behind fresher, newer, better versions of himself. The new bears would talk when you hugged them. Their fur was softer, finer fabric. They had real velvet pads on their feet. Tickle their nose and they would laugh. He had none of those things. His fur was coarse by comparison. His feet were just sad nylon blend. He couldn't laugh or talk, no matter what you did. One day, something changed for that bear. There was a boy looking at him. The boy wasn't looking at any of the other bears at all. He was looking right at him. In the boy's eyes, the bear could see all the things that made him special. His fur might be coarse, but it was a little longer, just like Jonathan's. The pads on his feet might not have been velvet, but they were just the right shade of brown. He couldn't laugh when you tickled his nose, but everyone knew that Jonathan was ticklish on his feet. He didn't talk when you hugged him, but he also didn't have the hard plastic battery compartment and speaker inside. A hug felt just like a real hug from Jonathan himself. But the boy had a mother, and the mother had seen the price tag and shook her head. There were tears in the boy's eyes, and the bear wanted to cry too. He just wasn't made with tears. Later, the boy returned. The bear wanted to jump and dance, but he wasn't made with muscles. The boy looked up and down the aisle. He fidgeted. He chewed his lip. Then he snatched the bear and stuffed him in his shirt. The boy ran. He ran and ran and ran. He ran all the way out of the store and into his mother's car. The bear had never been happier. He played with the boy every day. They made a fort of bedsheets and couch cushions. They watched Jonathan Bear together every day. One time, he defended a kingdom from a squad of plastic army men. Another time, he got to fly off a ceiling fan. Once, he hugged the boy for an hour before the boy stopped crying. Every night, the boy made room for him on his pillow. But things started changing. The boy played with the bear less and less. Sometimes the bear would just sit on the bed for days. Eventually, the boy started to leave him under the bed at night, next to the dust bunnies and forgotten toys. One day, the boy picked up the bear, and the bear looked in his eyes. He no longer saw love in the boy's eyes. He saw guilt and shame. The boy placed the bear into the closet, behind a pile of old clothes, back where he could never see him. And the bear sat there for months and months in that dark, sad, lonely place. Oh dear. We really did a number on him, didn't we? Maybe you weren't a bad bear after all. Maybe you were a good bear that did very bad things. 
Jimmy, what you did was wrong. If you just would have waited for Christmas, I would have bought him for you. And you never would have had to feel bad about owning him. But now, well, I'm just glad that you're sorry for what you did. I love you, sweetie. After everything that's happened, if a stuffed bear would make you happy, I would buy as many as you wanted. I would fill your room with them if I could. I'm sorry. That kind of talk is silly now. Just keep doing your best, honey. I'll be right here with you. Jimmy feels a cold, gloomy energy oozing from the orb. Would you like to touch it? Jimmy hears the click-clack of his mother's heels on the linoleum. He can feel a presence behind her, watching, always watching. Every day the same feeling, the same eyes, the terrible, spidery feeling tickles up Jimmy's back. The sound of his mother's pacing has stopped. Look at you, she says. I've gotten so dusty. Her hands beat on fabric, and for once, Jimmy can't feel the gaze anymore. She coughs. She tries to clear her throat, but she just coughs more. She coughs and coughs and coughs. Soon the coughing has changed into deep, heavy sobs. Has it... Her sobs catch the words in her throat. Has it been so long? So, I want to... I want to start talking about the other thing that I have, like, refused to talk about. If you've read any of the comments that have been coming up, people are already talking about it. There are many, many things that have made it explicit. So, here it goes. The central mass represents Jimmy's brain. Now, there are a few signs of this, besides the fact that it's the central hub. Uh, there's even an information guy that mentions the cerebellum. You can see his memories from there. When you look at a telescope, you can actually see the room that Jimmy is in for once. So, the pulsating mass has infected Jimmy's brain. That is, that is what is happening. It's not just this. Um, he's trying to remember things in order to unlock access to it and, and fight it. The other thing that a lot of people have mentioned, that at, this is the point when I realized for sure, um... Jimmy isn't just dreaming. He's sick. The, the pulsating mass is some type of disease. A lot of people think it's cancer. That makes the most sense, because what is cancer? It's a, it's a mass of growing, metastasized flesh. That could easily be described what the pulsating mass is, right? So that makes sense. So the scene with Buck, uh, he's angry that he can't do anything to help his brother. Um... Also, so there's a part when you're all coming back from the different planets, uh, like, you know, planet Jimmy, and wow, I had a space open, that's ridiculous. Um, you come back from the different planets, like there's planet Jimmy and there's planet Andrew. I think everything that they said are things that those people were saying in real life, um, as opposed to what happens most of the time you hear the characters talking in this. Um, the mother said, like, it'll be okay, don't cry or I'll start crying too. That makes sense to say to a sick child. The father, and I really, I love the, the characters in this game. I love the way the, char the, the parents specifically are um, characterized. Buck's okay. It, as far as the family members, I probably like him the least, but he's not in any way bad. But um, Andrew says, I you know, it seems like I'm smart, but I'm really an idiot. Like, if anything, the pulsating mass, again, we're, the pulsating mass is some type of disease infecting his son. It's a problem, and if I were smarter, I can solve it. I'm actually an idiot. He's, he thinks that everything can be solved with intelligence, essentially, but he can't. He, he isn't able to solve this. And then there's Lars. When you talk to Lars uh, to try to get him to join you, he says, Oh, wow, I thought everything was going to work out. I better go and join you now. Um, I, think that was, I think that was a real line, too. Um, 
I still need to find Lars's orb. I don't actually know where it is, but for now, I want to see if I can get in there. And that's a lot of heavy stuff, so... And I'm just going to ramble a little bit, because I've been holding all of this in. Part of me still doesn't want to talk about it, because, it is, you know, I like people to figure things out. But at this point, I think if people hadn't figured it out, this is where it becomes explicit, is when you get one of those family memories. And I did, so obviously, if this is about, like, a sick child that is in a lot of danger. And the way that the family deals with it, and not knowing whether or not he's going to be okay... It wasn't just that mouse dying that made me say this game does get dark. I didn't want to be so obvious because, again, I hate spoilers, but... Yeah, it's it's a pretty serious, heavy game despite its its appearance. Uh, but I just, I love it so much. I, I've enjoyed playing it, like, most of this year, you know, showing people who wouldn't have seen it before. I, I feel like there's probably more I have to say. I'm just going to have to say it as it comes because it's not all... It's not all coming, but, like, once you realize the sickness thing, there's so many other things that come into place. Like, how about the status effects? Every status effect is themed to make sense with someone who's sick. For example, the status effect sick. <laughs> Instead of poison. Um, there's ennui. Like, that's not a normal status effect in a game, but it's in this. Um, then there's, you know, afraid, unmotivated, motivated, unconscious. There's no death. It's unconscious. That's when you knock someone out. And Jimmy himself is unconscious. Then, of course, sleep. That's, you know, normal RPG thing still works. Um, and acid. Uh, acid doesn't work. <laughs> but, you know what? Oh, immunodeficiency. What other game has immunodeficiency as a, um, as a status? This one does. It's all themed the same way. Dot, 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 dot. Let's see if we can get in here. I have no idea what this is. Welcome to Accelerated Dynamics. Oh, you must be here for the Platinum Membership Luncheon. Let me pull up your account. Let's see. I see that you're a Platinum member. Are you here for the luncheon? Yes, I don't know what this is. I'm a little bit scared. This is blind content for me. Excellent, Mr. Jimmy. Please come this way. Let's see how serious this is, uh, considering all the information I just dropped on you. What the hell? That's weird. Free coffee! Can you believe it? They really swing for the fences at Decelerated Dynamics. Back in Shinrayu Fish Concern, I bring my own coffee in a thermos. I'm not used to being around so many rich people. I just married into money. Before Harpley swept me off my feet, I was just a lowly maid in Legato Castle. So these kind of things are still uncomfortable for me. Everyone here is so well-dressed. Well... Except for that one fellow in the bandages. I'm pretty sure he's not even a Platinum member. I don't know how he got in, but he looks like he's been through a lot. You're not the same information guy. The Spectre of D It is! <laughs> it's that same information, the guy that was mauled by Mr. Cad. Uh. Oh, hello, Jimmy. I didn't expect to see any familiar faces here. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that you're a Platinum member. You've been very sensible with your investments. Me? I know my salary is modest, but I saved everything I can. I was hoping Mr. Grouse would see me personally, but I guess he's too busy. That's okay. I'm going to get the most out of this eat and greet that I can. I've already eaten donuts that are bigger than me, and I'm trying to take another one back home. Too bad my arms are so tiny. Maybe I can give Miss Robin a call. She makes so much money that she could probably have been a platinum member, but I can never get her to open an account. Oh, hello, Jimmy. If I had known this was just a coffee and donuts affair, I wouldn't have come. It's nice to get out of the house, though. Not to mention, we ditched uh, Martin for the weekend. Am I supposed to know these characters? Because I don't. My best piece was performed by the Shinrayu Symphony Orchestra soon. You should give it a listen. And maybe you can tell my brother about it. I think you'll see him more than me. I don't make much money nowadays, but I saved every penny over the years. I've got to think about my retirement. This was, um, not what I expected. I expected a bit more, honestly. Oh, there is more. This building is huge. I should take off my, um, observation bubble just in case there are monsters here. Let's try, um... Also, what am I even doing? I forgot the most important part of any interaction in Jimmy and the Pulsating Maz. 
Gotta, you gotta, uh, just like a soda, you must shake it. Wait. Now, why would you do that to an old woman like me? You're lucky I'm a sturdy farm girl at heart. Well, I suppose this is the luxury of a platinum membership. Huzzah! I'm not gonna shake you, you're just gonna say the same thing. Ha! I've heard about the shaking habit of yours. You really should not do that to people. It's not reasonable at all. <laughs> you can't normally shake her because she's behind a bank counter. Martin, how did you follow us? Oh, it's you, Jimmy. Sorry I snapped, it's just a habit with my son. We are afraid we may have spoiled him. Oh, Jimmy, you're such a rascal. It doesn't matter who it is, they're gonna get shaken, huh? <laughs> you know. She knows. I'm sorry, I'm not getting out of the way. Gotta stock up on coffee while I can. Try again some other time. The early bird gets the worm, you know? I don't like coffee. You, I don't need it. I'm eight. Employees only. Please stay confined to the designated platinum membership areas. Ah, okay. So let me just check this hall. See if there's a treasure chest or something. Otherwise, this entire thing was a little bit weird, right? There, danger? What? Uh, Alright, I'm saving. <laughs> Something's wrong here. <laughs> Means I need to save. Okay. I can't believe... This is so crazy that I've never seen this before. Like, I, I can't... This game is so massive. There's so much that I haven't seen. And there's a bunch of really long bonus dungeons, which I don't know if they're going to be all that fun for me, but... This this type of stuff is great. Whoa. Are you horrified? I'm horrified. There are monsters here. I found a dungeon I didn't know about. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's up here. That's no. Ain't got nothing to steal, but I can definitely bully you for your poor mecha design. Look at this poor mecha design. Follow, uh, oh! I was gonna say, these guys don't seem all that rough, but that was certainly a uh, heavy hit, wasn't it? Comforting smile. Uh, you. Okay. Uh, alright, we don't want you firing rockets again. Okay. I appear to be a higher level than I need to be for this area, though, so I don't have to do every battle. In fact, I could do no battles. It looks like I'm that high of a level. Well, this can't be it. <laughs> Just you again, huh? Well, gonna smash you. One rampage should do it. There we go. Not even critical. Holy crap! Game, I was not expecting that. Oh my god! I <laughs> oh my god, alright. Uh, you know, I forgot to warn people that, like, there's a scene like this in Assassin's Creed. I'm not expecting it in the machine. But, you know, based on all the crap that I just described, you know, it's, I guess it should be expected. <laughs> Oh, man. It's just somehow more dark to me because I there's just so many people that are stuck in, like, horrible jobs. Like, uh, it, it's too real, man. Oh. Oh. Now right, let's fight. Okay, these are new guys. Who are you? You look like an anime. <laughs> are you an anime? Security. You're an anime security. These are all, like, security anime people. Well, Miss Security Woman, do you, in fact, have delicious items that I can eat? Like a, a skull or... Ooh, coffee maker! I hate coffee. 
Well, let's try to steal the coffee maker. You also try to steal the coffee maker, assuming he fails. Boom, part of the girly set. Interesting. But why, though? And undulate. Not that it'll help me against a bunch of stinger missiles. Crap. <laughs> Shakedown does damage, and I killed her. Alright, well. He's flashing warning lights. I guess, um, I guess I'm just gonna have to keep on fighting till I see her again. I need that coffee maker, obviously. Punch Tanaka has leveled up. After this, I can spend a bunch of my money. Excellent. Alright, uh, maybe I'll have Helga deal with this so that, um, you don't murder her. You, however, need to leave. <laughs> I don't need your stinger missiles. Damn it, she failed. And Punch is only gonna have one chance, so... There we go. <laughs> Motivational speech. Ugh! <laughs> I had Lars go to sleep, because, you know... He was tired. I don't know. <laughs> he was about to die, I figured he'd heal. Boom. <laughs> Andrew destroyed a vending machine by biting it, because that's the type of game this is. Well... Were these guys killed by the mass? Maybe. Jimmy? What are you doing here? The Platinum Membership Luncheon is downstairs. Well, you're here now. I suppose you've seen the X5 model suppression units. Are you surprised? Accelerated dynamics is more than just banking. We've diversified into all sorts of enterprises including military-grade weaponry. Jimmy, why are you looking at me like that? I used to dream of the first bank of grouse growing and growing. Well, my dream has evolved. We all evolve, Jimmy. It's what people do. The bank wasn't important at all. What matters is money. You see, money buys things, Jimmy. You don't just use it to buy your favorite snacks, you know. Money buys property. It buys influence. It buys power. It buys respect. Sometimes it buys people, too. I wouldn't expect you to understand. You're just a child, after all. You don't know what it means to be an adult. Oh, is he a bird? I thought he was a bear this entire time. But, of course, none of that matters now. I'm afraid I can't let you leave, Jimmy. You see... The X-5 mobile suppression unit is still a prototype. We can't have that information leaking to my competitors. In situations like these, you have to weigh the pros and cons. Will killing you weigh on my conscience? <laughs> yeah, briefly. But if that information gets out, I could use millions. It's a simple cost-benefit analysis. Please understand. I never thought I'd be fighting him. Also, what? There's some type of special condition for this fight, and I don't understand what is happening. A little bit worried, though. Um, nothing to steal. I'm going to attack his computer. I'm wondering if this is like a special fight where if I kill him, uh, something different will happen. And you just undulate. Ooh. He took a bit of MP for himself. Comfy computer adds interest. Huh. Starting to think that fighting the computer is not a viable strategy. I am going to have to attack him. All right, Punch. The spirit of Punch flows through me. Let's start out with a mag combo and see what comes of it. You attack everything. We'll see what comes of it. Thermal bomb. And... Counter stance. There might be an attack coming, I don't know. Mr. Grouse might get feisty. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can really do anything to the computer. Peter adds interest. I don't get what that means, damn it. <laughs> um, but I think I'm gonna go sick house on Mr. Grouse. With the ultimate combo. You know it. Because we don't mess around with uh, people who make weapons in my um, world. I was going to say town, but I don't live here. <laughs> I don't live anywhere near here. 
Okay. Here we go. <laughs> this might kill him. Everyone defend, uh, except Andrew. I don't know. Use the dark spiral on the computer for some reason. Guard. Here we go. Yep, that'll do it. <laughs> All right. I, I hope. I really hope there wasn't some secret thing I was supposed to figure out. But guys, gotta get got. Oh God, he just he just taxed me. <laughs> I've been taxed. As you know, taxes have something to do with sickness. All right, so not everything has to do with sickness. <laughs> but it looks like all of my abilities cost more MP now, but it doesn't matter. That's more than enough to take him out. Wow. That was a lot of experience. All right, you beat me. So what? Am I supposed to learn some kind of lesson? I'll just take the financial hit and keep going. Let me teach you a lesson instead. You don't know what it's like to be a small man. When you're a small man, you spend each and every day alone with your own small thoughts. You think, I should live in a better house, and that's it. It's just a thought. Money can make a small man into a big man. You think, I should live in a better house, and then you buy it. A thought becomes reality. That's what money can do. As a small man becomes bigger and bigger, his thoughts become big thoughts, and he needs more money to make them real. People would respect me more if a building were named after me. People would remember me if this monument lasted long after I died. The government would construct policies that favored my business if I donated to the right politicians. Don't you see, Jimmy? Money can help you shape the world in your image. I wouldn't expect you to understand. You're just a child, after all. You haven't had the time to live as a small man. Come here before you leave. Hey, it's life insurance. That's from our insurance division. It will allow you to retain all of your money if you lose a fight. You need to protect your assets, Jimmy, if you want to amount to anything. That's amazing. There's no there's no consequence for um for dying now, except you have to start at places. Why do you continue to talk to me? Nothing will change. Go live in the happy world of children. You don't belong here. This place is for adults. Punch. I suppose you've earned the right to do that. Enjoy it while you can. Power anchored in physical strength is fleeting. He's not wrong. <laughs> Once you get older, that goes away. So, ooh, almost left. That would have been bad. Didn't go to the treasure chest. I uh, got a skyscraper. Got... It's a molecular beam. Okay. And... Hyperdrive unit. These must be all prototypes that he kept in his giant golden bathroom, like a weirdo. Alright, hyperdrive unit. Install in a robot and see it run around all crazy and stuff. What? Oh, okay, it actually has statistical things that I wasn't looking at. Um, amazing agility is what this gives. Well, you know who's getting that? I mean, she's not a robot, but she's wearing shoe inserts, for God's sakes. She is now massively fast. She'll probably outdo a lot of bosses that she wouldn't have been able to before. And this hyper, hyper, hyper beam. Molecular beam. Holy crap. Oh my God. Okay. I wonder what that looks like. Yeah, you're definitely learning that instead of Black Spiral. That's an amazing ability. It doesn't even act like there's any cooldown. Maybe it costs like a hundred magic though or something crazy. I want to put it past them. Yep, let's return. Yeah, I've never really... I've never really wanted a bunch of money. I just wanted enough money 
to feel safe, you know? That being said, I probably do need to find a new career, because <laughs> what I've been doing for the last, like, almost five years, it can't last forever. I feel like my entire purpose is to try to make my job obsolete so they don't need me anymore. But that's enough of that. This was a heavy episode. Um, I actually even need to look up where the last two points were. Um, one of them should be related to Lars, and I'm not gonna say who the other one is. Um, it's not like a... It's not gonna be a shocking surprise or anything, I just... Don't, I don't know, this is not going to say it. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I, as always, have very much enjoyed people's thoughts on the games in the comments. I really do appreciate that. People have done increased conversations um, in my Discord, which I have set up. Though, you're not really going to be able to find those very easily because it's there's just a channel talking about my current Let's Play, so there'll also be stuff about, like, tower defense games in there. But I, I really liked reading it and seeing it. And, um... Yeah, thanks for coming on this journey with me. We're getting close to the end. I'll see you then. Just remember, do your best. Later.